Welcome back to CS201 Walkthroughs. My name is Lukash, and today we're going to be going over lambda functions. They're a little bit confusing, but I think the best way to describe them are functions that output a procedure or another function. Still a little confusing, let me show you an example. Here I'll define function 1 to output a lambda procedure. simple one that adds one to its input. We'll talk about the syntax in a little bit. I'll run this. And I'll run function one. What do I get? I get procedure. This is just an unspecified procedure. It doesn't say what it does. Let me see if I can actually get it to call that lambda function on something. So I'll call function one. And then I'll give it an input like five. So what's happening here is it's evaluating function one. It's getting that lambda procedure, it's taking 5 as its argument, setting that to x, and then adding 1 to it, and we get 6. So the syntax for a lambda function, lambda functions have two inputs. First one is uh, the arguments, enclosed by parentheses. Second one is the yep. output. I guess the um, it's not the output of the lambda function. It's the output of the function output by the lambda function. Okay, still a little confusing. We'll go through a couple more examples. <clears throat> Here, I want to I'm going to write my map, which is just a procedure that recreates what map does. I'm going to do it a little bit quickly. I'm going to say, I'm going to do it recursively. I'm going to say if empty list, then we're going to return an empty list. Otherwise, we're going to recurse our way through the list. We're going to cons proc onto car list onto the recursive call, my map on the coder of the list, and proc. Close our parentheses. See if I did that right. Let's call my map with the list one, two, hello. And the proc is going to be string question mark. Okay, there we go. False, false, true, right? So it recursively goes through this list. It says, this is false, this is false. This is true with the procedure I passed it. Say I wanted to do something more complicated with my map. I want to I want to make a list of each element within a list, add a zero into that list, and then what else? And then, I don't know, append, append another list with the word hello. Okay, this is a little bit tough. So if we try to use it, try to use my map as we just did, you know, one, two, hello, what would our procedure over here be? Well, I guess I said append, append my list with hello in it onto, onto what? Onto list zero, uh, what? What goes here? Well, it has to be each element of this list, but I don't have a variable to represent that. I can't just say each element of the list. That doesn't work, and I can't leave this blank because list needs to take this other element or this other argument in order to make a list out of it. I mean, I could say something like cons zero onto but what goes here. It's each element. So lambda functions have a way to deal with that. So I'll copy this up here. I'll say this this doesn't work. We don't have a way to kind of name the elements. And lambda functions doesn't work. Lambda functions we do. So in lambda functions, I would write something like my map one two hello. Keep it the same just for consistency. Here I'm going to write my lambda function to intake x. Here x is going to represent 
each of these elements of the original list. So now I can pretty easily say, well, cons append uh, the symbol or the list hello and cons zero to list x. All right, so here it's going to take each x, each of these, it's going to make a list out of it, cons zero into that list, and then append hello. Okay, let's run it, see if it works. Replace this, this nonsense down here. Close my parentheses all the way. Okay, there we go, right? So it took each element of the list, added a zero in front of it while it was in a list, and then appended hello to it. Right, here was our one from up here, our two, and our hello. So when we want to do complicated things using map, we need to use lambda functions so that we can specify where each element of the list goes in our kind of complicated procedure. I hope that's helped you understand lambda functions a little bit and how to use them uh, and their syntax, how to write them. Very frequently they're used with map. Um, so if, as always, if you have any questions, come into office hours, post on Piazza or email the CS201 help email. Thanks for watching this video walkthrough and I hope to see you in the next one.